I mean, I think about my dad, who was, when he was dying on his deathbed, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, there were, there were uh, days, I mean, you're living, you're still living, but you're, you know the end is coming, and you know that, is this the day, is this the day, is this the day, is this the day? And the, the waiting for the inevitable, Hmm. Ah, it was just, I mean, that's something that hits me in a, in a, in a real core, core place. And our relevance in the universe, you know, um, yeah. you bring up your dad immediately. I went to my dad late in his life. Um, I, I had returned home and um, one night I was driving home at two o'clock in the morning and looked up and the northern lights were dancing like I'd never seen them before and my dad was asleep and my mom had passed away the house was empty except for my dad and I woke him up and I said come here you need to see this and brought him to the window and his jaw dropped and he stood there talk about a long silence mm. he, he just stared and then he somberly said it just makes you realize how insignificant we are that could be really hard to live with that insignificance. Yes. Or it could be, wow, very freeing. Yeah. I mean, and joyful. There should there could be a joy on the flip side of it. So, this play does navigate through those waters as well as the lighter waters. I mean, it, it, there's a lot of there's there's a lot to this piece. I mean, there's it's chock full of gems like that, and then lighter moments, and and funny funny stuff, and tragic it's all tied up together in the human experience and that we're all walking through.